What's going on guys? It is bright out here today. Back with another episode of DIY Diaries. Um, I've got some cinder blocks here we just picked up. We're gonna make that standing vertical cinder block ledge type thing today. Got a bit of concreting to do also, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna rip into it. We've got a couple of hours of daylight left. Damn, I should have wore sunglasses. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. The edge of the cinder block will need like a bit of angle iron. I don't wanna buy any because it comes in like three meter lengths. So I'm gonna cut this metal frame up today. Hopefully we can manage to uh, grab some angle iron off it, check it out. So yeah, as I said in my previous video, I'm gonna cut here and down the other end and use this as the coping for the side of the ledge. Hopefully, I got an angle grinder. I did bring a hacksaw in case, um, but hopefully the angle grinder does the trick. Look at that. If we cut it correctly, we should have plenty. If I make a clean enough cut, we won't have to cut it back. It's 134, isn't it? Yeah. I guess it's 116. It's way too short. Wait, sure. what? It's way too short. Sure? Yeah. It's 134. Jesus Christ. So we're going to have to do two cuts. Let me see how long that is against the lid. Yeah, we're going to subtract a brick. All right, so we're going to subtract a brick just so we don't have to cut and paste too much. So we can just cut it once and then stick it on. We'll use that brick for something else, I suppose. Sounds like metal work. You ever did metal work in high school? Nah, I did academic subjects. <laughs> We've got our angle iron now. Um, hopefully I cut it well enough to be able to just stick straight down. We might have to trim it. I'm not sure, but let's go check it out. Ah, oh, it's short. I'm gonna have to cut it again. You measured it before though. Why'd you come back with 114? Got an idea. <laughs> Usually when you build things, guys, you want to measure twice, cut once. It stops you from measuring once and cutting twice is what I've done, so I've got to cut it again. It's a little bit long, but... That's hot. Oh, that's hot. So now that we have the angle iron cut to the right uh, length, all we got to do now is seal these the bricks down and then seal these the angle iron onto the bricks. Check it out. So this is the rough outcome of uh, this ledge today. It's a bit shorter than what I wanted just because of the angle iron wasn't long enough and because I messed up the measurements, but it is DIY, you know. I am uh, doing this myself primarily. I've got my mate here. His identity can't be uh, shown for legal reasons. So I think I'm going to start to uh, glue this all down and then get onto the concreting I need to do today. So we just got the ledge all sorted as you can see got the cinder block on top holding it all down So it dries with the liquid nails still got a bit of time left before the Sun goes down We've got about an hour and a half so I might get a jump on this concrete work So this bit of concrete's done. Just gotta cover it and let it dry until tomorrow. You're probably growing sick of me watching me do concrete on this channel. I've done it three times now. Uh, but yeah, so this is pretty much this section done. Also, uh, I think there might be someone living underneath here. And here we are building a DIY out of his house. 
Um, we've seen him a couple times around here now. Uh, a mate of mine came and ro rode here the other day and he said he's seen someone hanging about, so yeah. <laughs> Explains the mattresses downstairs, I guess. This curb's taken a, a beating since I've installed it, probably a week ago now. But you can always uh, run some paint over the top of it, some uh, roller paint, I think. Touch it up. Do a trick, Leon. Huh? I'll do a trick on the box. I'm trying to do the red thing. All right. The red rocket. Red rocket. Ooh. All right, we're out here guys. It's day two of building this ledge, I guess. Um, it's a bit rusted, like I said, and I thought I could paint it. And then I thought I could throw paint stripper on it to pull the rust off. And then I remember I have a grinder. So I think I'm gonna grind it down to smoothen it out. And then um, Leon's here and Mars is here and Harry's here. Leon and Mars built this box. I'll give you a quick tour of it. Pretty, uh, pretty tidy construction here. Something like this would be sick here, but if it's wooden, someone could burn it or destroy it or steal it. Yeah, give it a run. It, it, it looks a bit off-coloured, but it should be alright. Oh, beautiful. There you go. Oh! Yeah, you got to be careful down there. As you can see, I've put the rusted uh, edge on the top and the good edge is on the side. I should have really done it the other way around, but we're here now, it's all glued down, so I'm just going to smooth it out with a grinder, hopefully and then wax it up and it should be good to go. <laughs> pass, 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 pass. Damn, them positive squad boys really off the vitamins. Hey yo, this is fox.b.balling.up.now dot 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 on IG fam. You guys gotta go bump that new Shaq France mixtape fam. That shit's hard fam, real shit fam. Can't leave the ledge up here because uh, we're in southwestern Sydney and uh, southwestern Sydney costs too much to make and uh, someone will burn it or destroy it or ride on it or yeah. The ledge is good to go, race curb is good to go, 
I just patched that dodgy bit of tiles with um, my dodgy bit of concrete work. It'll, it'll do the job, but like it's not pretty, but it's a DIY, like it doesn't have to be. This spot is starting to really take shape. I hope what this video accomplishes for you guys is that you can all go out, find a spot, get materials and build, get a group of friends around to help you out and build and just a session with. Like, I probably wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for all the parks being closed because of Corona. So in a way, it's, I'm trying to take the positive from the negative. Now all of you guys have this cool content to watch of me building stuff here. Hopefully you all enjoy it. I've been enjoying it. It's been fun for me. Um, I got here at like 10.30 this morning. It's now 3 p.m. So I'm pretty busted, like I've been in the sun all day. Even though it's not summer, it is autumn here, so it's not as harsh, but the Australian sun is still harsh. Another quick word before my camera dies. If you live somewhere where the skateboarding scene isn't exactly what you want it to be, you can always kind of do things that are gonna boost the scene in your area. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is, if you live somewhere where the skateboarding scene isn't that great, you can do things to kind of boost that skateboarding community where you live. You can build little DIY spots, you can reach out to other skateboarders in your area, try to be the change in the scene you want to see instead of just kind of sitting back and then complaining about it and doing nothing. The way things are these days in skateboarding, we all have the internet, we all use Instagram, we all follow skateboarders from around the world, we all follow pages on Instagram that post skateboarding content. It's easy to take influence in from all these other places that you can apply to your own kind of scene or your own kind of skateboarding. I personally take a lot of influence from how skateboarding is in California. Everyone wants to progress at skateboarding. Everyone wants to get clips and everyone wants to kind of keep the ball rolling with skateboarding and skate new spots. I know it's hard in Australia because Australians are very lazy. It's just because we're behind the rest of the world like five years. We don't get to see much of this influence apart from online. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen the first episode of DIY Diaries, the link is in the description below. You can go and check it out. If you want to support me in any way, make sure you head on over to eveningmob.com. Pick up a t-shirt, pick up some stickers. That's like the main way you guys can support me with what I'm doing with all this. Leave a comment below what you guys want to see me build next. A lot of people have been requesting me to build like a little three foot quarter pipe. I do want to build a quarter pipe eventually once I figure out how to get all the materials and everything without it breaking the bank because it will cost a little bit of money. Until next time guys, I will see all of y'all in the next video.